in this video, I'm just only showing the steps on how I finish the fence up to close the yard in, opposed to me showing a how-to, since I just uploaded a very detailed how-to video for the privacy fence. However, I will show some detail of me building both seven-foot gates. Okay, guys, I'm done for this evening. Sun is setting. Um, got pretty far here, somewhere here. The power lines run just through here, alongside of here when I had them sprayed. So to be careful with that, but not so much the power line, the cable, and um, some of the electricity. So we have to be careful coming through here. So this is Doug. This is done. This one's done. This one's done. This one's done. This is done. So the opening, the gate opening will be 15 feet. Seven and the both doors will be seven and a half, seven and a half feet across. I was gonna make them 14 feet, but I was able to go over extra foot to give me more space for the opening. Especially when we pulling the race car out or um, just pulling in something big up in here. I want to have all the space I need it. And the small gate will be 40 inches across. This is the opening for the small gate. 40 inches will be from there. Okay guys, I'll update you guys. Got the wood, got some long wood for my gate. Okay guys, I'm done for this evening. It's about six o'clock. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at. Okay, got the post in, the level, the plumb, beyond straight. That's super straight. Just remove my string. Uh, everything cemented. This was the hardest one. Um, to get perfectly right, I have to move a little bit more blocks than I wanted to, but it had to be perfect with this one. Uh, the opening is 40 inches uh, for the door, which is perfect. Uh, if I want to pull my tractor, we come through the big door. I put two bags of cement in this one and two bags of cement in that one because they're going to hold two big doors. Uh, yeah, but the opening is nice. And the other one's just a bag, cement. And I'll cover it back up with the dirt. Guys, I didn't use Flex Seal on these posts because water doesn't sit on this side of the house. Like the other side, all the other posts that I did pretty much was kind of in the concentrated water area. Except the side front, but I had already did them, so just wanted to note that. Okay, guys, I'm done with the rails. Uh... I even closed the, I bought some two by four by 14. Cause I got the poles to align such like perfectly straight that I was able to go with the two by four by 14s and just run them all the way across. And this has also allowed me to eliminate a lot of the cutting. I'm gonna construct the gate as is. I'll put a frame on the back side of this. I'll just run some boards on both sides and I'll kind of brace it um, like so, since it's swinging open. Yeah, this is where I'm at right now. Kind of went to the side house so I can kind of get a pick. I have to be careful for that piece, so I don't want to go too far over. Yeah, so um, this is where I'm at, guys. Uh, with these rails, these are also two by four by 14s. Like I said, the posts align perfectly straight. Like so. What I did with these, I uh, extended them out. So I'm gonna take my saw and just make a cut. Just trying to make the work easier, guys. I wanna eliminate some of the cutting with the, I've got the circle saw working that out today. So I'll just take it and just chop that off and uh, have a smooth layout. I went over here to the neighbor's gate. So I'm kind of close it in. As you guys can see, the, how the ground slopes down significantly bad up in this area and it just straightens out so the pickers will run high here run even here slope down t a tad bit and just run across there even with the two big doors so let me construct this you know 
leave it there and I'll start picking it before I cut it out and put the hinges on it. So just showing you guys where I'm at right now. I'm just chronicling this build opposed to showing the how-tos. Guys, the only thing suck about this is I'm gonna have this all this black top. I'm gonna have this black top. And you're gonna redo that over and you're gonna run me a path to the pole barn all the way from this strip. And they were gonna do this, so we gotta kinda figure this out. This sucks that I'm just not thinking about it. I'm gonna black top that. Okay guys, I just got the last of the pickets. I also stumbled across someone who saw me loading pickets and asked, what I do their fence. Oh, as much as I'm tired of doing the fence, the guy kind of seemed to be nice and said his fence was in bad shape, so who knows, I may help him out and post it on the channel. Um, I'll see, I'll decide what I'm gonna do with that. Um, and it's and a little bit it's really nice today. Just wanna finish our fence up and build these gates. So uh, let's get back to the house and get started. Okay guys, as you see behind me, it's time for the big gate build today. I'm gonna cut all the parts out, lay them on the ground and for both gates and then assemble them. I wanna make them light as possible so I'll use as less wood as possible to construct them, but I'll make them extremely durable and sturdy. So let me get started. Okay guys, I don't know why I kept saying 15 foot gate, but it's gonna be a 14 foot gate. And the reason is my original plans to go was a 15 foot gate but I knew 14 was ample amount of space that we'll need to get in and out of here. Look at the measurements, guys. Let me stretch it a little bit. I got to pull it pulled tight. 167 is 14. 168 is 14. 168 inches is 14 feet. It's 167. And look at this, guys. So if I stretch it, it's kind of, it's bent, as you guys can see, it's bent. It's touching the post, but... They're picture perfect, guys. The measurement is pinpoint accurate. Pretty much great work. And look at how I got this offset. So, so it's right at 14 feet. Both, both doors will be right at seven feet. Um, they'll be 83 inches a piece. Look at this. I'm pulling tight at the bottom. Right at 56. Now let's go check the other side. Yeah? Okay, hold on. Pulling. Yeah, that's dead on. So 56. Um, that's the height. Okay, guys. Frames to cut out. Using 45 degree miter cuts. I was going to do some overlap joints, but I like these miter cuts. I also use some wood ties for each miter joint on the front side of both gates that I don't show in this video. Yeah, I'm getting my brace. My bracing right now. Both frames are constructed. Let's mark my marks for the braces. You get them cut out. Guys, a flawless cut for the brace. I mean, it fit in that snug just like I wanted it. Both of them. I had to push them in place. So let me get these down with some wood ties and let the glue sit up. I'll put some glue on both of them and uh, get some wood ties and let it sit up for a second. Okay, guys, one door is complete. Uh, I'll show you guys what I did. Uh, toenail the deck screw that way. Use these wood ties for both of them. Nail them on with the toenail. The main thing is just to keep this brace stable. It ain't going anywhere. The pickers are in the front of it. This is the box side. These are the wood ties I use. I have the link in the description box. You can put some screws in it if you like. I just nailed them in place. Okay. Done with both gate doors. It's time to get everything lined up. Kind of brace them in place. And so I can start doing pickets. Okay guys. The doors are propped in position. They're level. Um, I'm using these braces. I'm just thinking when I get the picks up, um, the pickets up, I'm gonna have to take my saws out and slice these screws off that's holding it. I guess the brace down and drill the brace off. On both sides, braced up and down the center. <laughs> Look how even that is, guys. Down the center. And um 
I can move this off easy and I got one down here. So I'm gonna start picking him. Backside now, give me a stretch some string around. Don't slope right here and it's gonna run straight all the way across. So, okay, got my line. Now I'm about to run through these pickets, guys. I'm gonna run straight through them. I'm leveled all the way down. A little higher than we wanted here, but I'm gonna plan something. As you can see, it slopes down bad right here and it goes up. So, um, we're fine with that. They're in the pool. So, um, we're level and I'm about to go, guys. I'm about to turn. Okay, guys, done. Well, 99.9% .9 done. I'm one picket short. Look at this, guys. Flawless run, flawless job. It's not quite a picket, but look how even that is. One short, guys. Let me show you guys how I look from the back side. Okay, guys, got to look from the back side. Great job, great work. The sensor don't need to be there. That's not holding by anything. So we'll be cutting out everything tomorrow. The swing's out that way. And that swing that way and then away. So Okay, got my saws off, blade. I'm about to go down these seams. Brace the door in the middle. And I'm gonna go down the seams. Okay guys, one to down, two to go. Let me show you what I'm doing. These hinges, these are the screws. They go in these hinges. But for what I'm doing right now, I'm getting the cut started and brace it up with one hinge. So I'm cut right here. And I'm gonna brace it up with the hinge here for the top rail. And then I'm gonna make the cut all the way through. But these are the bolts for these hinges half an inch so i'm gonna drill this hinge up right now continue to cut okay guys since i'm making the cut this is about to be done and this door can swing open in a second um, i'm gonna uh show you i'm gonna install the latch right now this is the latch pretty simple design really heavy duty latch i believe this is made out of steel and powder coated and um for weather extremely durable, but you got this much play depending on the width of the gap between your door, whichever one you want to latch. So simple, just some screws. This is a very simple design. You guys can see how that mounts here. So you can't kind of mount it wrong. You just want to go up here. It's designed to run right across the two by four. Just like perfectly. You just want to kind of gauge your height where you want the latch to be. Okay, I'm done with the latch. Couple minutes to install. Even if you guys don't have the width to mount both of them on and use impression sheet of wood, man, this wood will shrink in a week or so. And it, you'll definitely have the gap then to kind of put the latch on so you can wait for a few days to install it. Very nice latching system and I like it. So let me make this cut, guys. I'm using to screw these screws in, guys. Um, I gotta put this one in. But I'm using, uh, oh, I gotta take this out too. Let me remove that, put that. I'm getting it started with these screws. And I'm putting these in using my impact. So let me remove it. I'm glad I just seen that. Okay, guys, I'm about to put the third hinge up. Got the handles on. But I noticed the hinge, the pin is gonna sit down. So, gonna sit down like that so what I have to do is I removed it I reverse the pin I want both hinges to be even with each other so um, I got a line my leveler 
put me a screw dead center here so I can just follow the path. Got my string. Dead center. So I'll do the bottom one like that. Okay, I'm done for today. We just about to get a bad storm, guys. A bad wind storm. I'm not gonna remove the braces yet. Look at the wind, it's already picked up right now. It's blowing, don't look like it, but it's blowing. It's supposed to get gale force winds to, in a few minutes within the next hour and lots of rain, I'll show you guys. Um, the gate is completely on its own weight right now. Those boxes can get removed. So I'm um, one handle short and one picket short, but um, in a latch for this. I'll show you guys something else. This also, I'm gonna put a latch here. The one that pulls up and twists, push down into the ground to keep this door solid. One of them I'll use for um, support. I'll drill a hole into the pavement so it can go down to the hole. I'll show you guys that when I pick the latch up. I don't need this one. So, uh, about to get a bad windstorm. Then I remove that brace and that brace. Those are done. That's moved. Okay, guys, I come outside to boat to finish the gate off today. It started raining really bad as it is on and off. And today is the one of the days that's a rare day here in Chicago where we getting gusts of 70 miles an hour today. We got a terrible tornado warning. Um, the winds was ridiculous. Everything was blowing out. Of just I haven't seen this in a very long time. And I come to the gate. The wind got so bad before I can just... I was outside. I finished that last picket off. And it started raining really bad. And then a wind started picked up. And I was about to install this cane bolt to secure the door. But it just got so bad. And the wind got so bad, it snapped the bracing off. That door is fine. And it destroyed the hinges. The door is still okay, but just crushed all this. And um, just a bummer. I just was going to install the cane bolt here and brace it in the ground. I wouldn't have had no issues. This sucks. I just tied this one. Okay, guys, these hinges are just junk. They're flimsy. Um, they're thin. These are just great for deco decorative hinges. And they're good for maybe smaller doors, but not a big door like this. So I replaced them with some amazing hinges with some Super heavy duty hinges. Look how thick these things are. Yeah, look how the hinges hinges constructed. Extremely durable. Nice little weld here and there. Um, each hand supports 120 pounds. I think these will be fine. It's 240 pounds. This door doesn't weigh 240 pounds, especially when this wood dries out. Look how it, it just it's 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 so smooth. Open so smooth and, and they're level and just straight now, despite what happened. Uh, yeah, and I got the, I drilled me a hole for the cane bolt. So just to hold the door in place. I'm gonna put another right there too. So just in case I wanna open one door and not the other. I just have both, even just for more support. So very pleased that how things turned out, despite what had happened with the wind. Mother Nature, you can't control that. So close this video out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys can be notified when I upload um, new videos. Done with the privacy fence gate. Done. I'm completely done with it now. I'm going to add a latch onto this gate right now. I'm using this wood here to kind of keep it in place as it goes in through here and locks in place. So I'm gonna add a latch here. So um, the next video with the gate is consists of me staining it. So um, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see that. Um, that's it, Terrence and I'm out.